Hello, my name is Marta and welcome to this video. Today I will be testing out the Colourpop Good Sport palette, which was the last year's fall palette. I decided to pick this up during a sale this summer, just because I thought the color story was quite interesting and I've seen a lot of people loving this palette. So today I want to do a palette bingo, just testing this palette out and I'm going to pick five or six shades. I'll just decide when picking the shades. If I'm not happy with the five first shades, I'll just pick a sixth one. So let's just go straight into the palette bingo and then I will do some swatches at the end of the video. I just went into the random number generator on my phone. I chose 12 different numbers because there are 12 shades in the palette. And now I'm just going to generate the first number, which was five. So shade number five, we're of course going from left to right. So that's going to be this really beautiful golden shade over here. So it's the true gold, I think. Now we're going to pick the third shade, which is number seven. And oh, I really wanted to try this shade. It's the very dark burgundy shade here, and it's a very beautiful shade, I think. I just love dark burgundy shades, and it's perfect for fall, so I'm so happy I got this shade. Okay, so I pressed this uh, button without having it on the camera, so I'll just press another time, just so you can see. Okay, seven, we already have that. Five, we already have that. Two, we don't have number two. So that is going to be the orange shade. I'm almost happy that I <laughs> that I chose this shade on without being on camera because I would much rather have this one. So yeah, that is going to be our fourth shade. And now going in for our last shade, hopefully. Seven again. Nine. So number nine is going to be this Toppy, yeah, it's basically just a very cool toned shimmer, but yeah, that's going to be interesting. So it's going to be a very warm look using these shades, but then adding a little bit of a cool tone here. So I will just swatch all of the shades so you can see them together. These are going to be the shades that I'm going to play with today. I think I got a lot of nice shades. I really love all of the mattes. It's like basically the epitome of fall, I feel like, and you can never go wrong with a golden shade. And these kinds of shades are shades I never go for myself, so I guess it was good that I got it, because then I get to test my creativity a little bit more. So I will just go and wipe off my fingers, and yeah, then I will just be back and tell you what I want to do with this look. So my immediate reaction seeing these shades was that I wanted to put this one on the lid and of course these ones in the crease, but I think I'm just going to use these ones in the crease. I will probably have this more on the outside of the lid here and then put this one on the inside and then blend both out with the yellow shade. And then I think I want to use this one on the lid and this one for maybe like the inner corner or the lower lash line, but I guess I'll just see what I'm going to do as we go. I'm just going to start off using this dark, beautiful burgundy shade that is called Reckless. And I am aware that my mirror is sort of like in the, just in front of the camera, but I hope that's going to be okay. It's just so that I don't fall out of the frame all the time. And I think you will be able to see everything I do quite well. Oh my god, this is like so pigmented. I did also see it from the swatch because I had so much shadow left on my finger after swatching it. So yeah, this is super nice to make a fall look and to get it a bit more smoky. And I love that. Thank you. 
After blending this shade out, I feel like the shade Reckless, the dark burgundy one, has a lot of purple in it, so I do not think I want to go in with the yellow over here, so I think I will just blend out the orange with it, and maybe just use the yellow to blend out the orange here, where it's not close to the purple. I did forget to mention, but as I've done in all of my previous videos, I did use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C1 for my lid. And I also have it a little bit underneath my eyes, which is why I'm also able to go in with my shadow underneath the eye. I really love these shades. The orange is like such a rustic and gorgeous orangey brown shade. and. It looks a little bit crunchy and I really love that. I feel like the fact that this burgundy shade was actually more of a dark purple also gives this whole palette a lot of more variation because there are some other purple shades there that are a little bit more cool toned. So you actually have a lot of different possibilities here. And I really am liking this. And because I did blend out with the shade Hooky, I will now try to go into this gorgeous yellow shade, which is called Trooper, and just try to blend a little bit out here. And I'll just see how far I'm able to drag it. Oh, but it goes so well with the orange shade, I feel like. Maybe I should have a smaller brush. Yeah, I should definitely have a smaller brush. So I'll be going in with this tiny detail brush instead, just so I'll be able to actually pack the yellow pigment on without blending away the orange shade completely. As you can see, it gives way more of an impact like this. And then I will just do as I normally do and use a fluffy brush with translucent or white powder on just to be able to blend out the edges here a little bit extra and since i'm so close to my brow i think i might also just use this shade no this brush that i'm using right now just to blend out the edges a little bit more This is where I'm at right now, and I think I will just go in with the shade that is called Hooked. It was the darker, a little bit more cool toned shimmer right here. And the shimmers all seemed quite, quite creamy, so I don't think I want to use a glitter glue like I usually do. So I will just uh, put some product on my brush and then I will spray it with my facial spray by Mario Badescu. Just, uh, to get it to adhere a little bit more. Now I'm just going into the shade Licious and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to spray it a little bit. As you can see, it's super creamy. Wow, I picked up like a big chunk. 
I'm just going to pat this a little bit down again to the actual shade and then apply it to my lid. I believe that is it for the eye look, at least this far. Maybe I will go in and blend a little bit extra with the same brushes that I used for the look, but I'm really loving this. Before I talk about how this look turned out, I just want to do a couple of uh, very fast swatches. That is how my look with the Colourpop Good Sport palette turned out. I'm really happy with how it looks. I think it just really screams fall and that was exactly what I wanted with this palette. And I think the Colourpop quality is very good. This is just like all of the other shades that I have. I do feel that the shimmers were particularly creamy. I don't think I have that many shimmers from Colourpop that are this creamy. And that is definitely a plus. And the shades themselves, I feel they're like super grungy and it's just a very nice color combo and a very nice color story in this palette. And I was lucky with all the shades that I got. I feel like the shade Hooked that is down here that I have all over my lid just looks like the color of like a dead, dead uh, leaf or something. And it just really matches the other shades because they're like super falsy. I know there's not a word that's called falsy, but I use it anyway. <laughs> the products that I used on the rest of my face are um, the Karl Lagerfeld and Model Co. liquid lipstick in the shade Princess Chopette. It's a really nice nude color. And I just combined it with my LA Girl lip liner in the shade Spice, which has been my favorite lately. It's like this deeper orange shade, which is just perfect for fall. <laughs> And uh, for my lower lash line right here, or my waterline, I used my very new uh, eyeliner by Colourpop in the shade Fastlane. And I don't particularly like darker shades on my waterline just because I feel like they make my eyes look smaller. So I prefer using lighter shades there, just like a white or a pale pastel shade or something. But I mean, this, do, this does really go with the look because it's green and this is a fall this is a fall look, so I'm not angry with it. For my highlighter, I ended up using my Luxie Beauty highlighter in the shade High Society, which I really love. It has like a peachy sheen to it, and it is one of my most loved highlighters, I think. I've used it so much. I just love it to pair it with warmer looks like this. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, I'm really glad that I got this palette. I think it's a beautiful palette with a great color story and Yeah, if you like this look, please give my video a thumbs up Comment down below if you have any thoughts on this palette or this look and Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me Bye